guys. They're hiding somewhere in the building right now. The I have no guys. idea what you just said. Oh, it's okay. It gets very loud in here. Yeah, I said yeah, half it's of Ill Scarlet. The other guys are hiding. They don't want to come out. Oh, yeah, they're back uh, in the green room. They're probably making fun of you guys right now on TV, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. E eating cheese and mocking us. Eating cheese, maybe whipping it at the screen. You guys are performing coming up. All your fans are so excited. They've been waiting outside. They're in the audience, which is cool. Well, let's talk about this, because you guys are from Mississauga, and I find that nowadays it seems like all the hottest bands are coming from the suburbs in small towns. You got you guys, Mississauga. Some 41, yep. we're just on there from Ajax. Attack and Black are from Welland, you know, St. Catharines, Alexis on Fire. What do you think it is? Because a lot of people find, or they think, that small towns are boring or, you know, uninspiring, but obviously that's not the case. So how did you guys find inspiration in Mississauga? Um, Which is just outside of Toronto, for all that you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Mississauga's pretty chilling, and... There's a lot of stuff to do, but it is pretty boring. I mean, the transit system sucks. So there's nothing else to do except, you know, start bands and... Play music Play and music write. or make movies or whatever. I don't know. What kind of movies do you guys make? Dirty movies. Really? Maybe we... Special movies, Should we not yes. be talking about that on TV? <laughs> no, I'll get Will out here. He could probably answer that better. Oh, he me. does that? He makes dirty <laughs> movies at home? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's great. Good, Will. Thanks. Maybe he can bring one next time. He's so angry right now. Really? I know. He's, he's so angry. He's doing. Well, I hope he doesn't let you wash them, because that would be kind of creepy. That'd be very creepy. That'd be very creepy. Yeah. Anyways, we have an audience question right now from Jen. Jen, what's your question for the guys? Hi, Jenny. Hi, guys. Um, I was just wondering, what is one thing nobody knows about you guys? Hmm, good question. Be honest. No lying here. <laughs> All of Canada is watching. I don't know. What don't people know about us? Something people don't know about us. Why don't you answer that for Alex? <laughs> That's a good idea. That's How about a good that? Idea. Something, Something that we don't... don't... Yeah. Alex has uh, poodles. I was going to say that. Poodles? Uh, wild poodles. There's yeah. a black one, a white one, and a gray one. I don't know if it's... And like... they're all yours? No, they're my mom's. Oh, but I'm allergic yeah. to dogs. That's why. Okay. They're yours. Lovely. But they're really nice. They're really nice dogs. Okay. What would you... One thing that we don't know about Johnny. One thing we don't know about Johnny. Johnny was born in New Jersey. Very nice. But you, you consider yourself a Canadian, I and, hope. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dual, dual citizen. Dual citizen, yeah. okay. Raised in Canada, but born in Jersey. No. Exit 39. What, what exit? I exit 16? Yeah. Exit 14. Yeah. Exit 14. And you might as well talk about the other guys, since they're in the green room making fun of you. What can you tell us about them? A little dirty secret, maybe, besides the sex tapes. Uh, well, Slavik, Slavik was born in Poland. Hmm. He, okay. He's probably angry yeah. when I told him that. Yeah. And Will is uh, makes sex tapes. That that is not his real hair. It's actually one of those hats. Yeah. You know the dreadlocks. Is it seen? extensions? One of They're those extensions. Riggy hats. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Again, he's gonna be mad stewing probably. I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm so okay. sorry. It's okay. Well, whatever. We'll just get back to the interview. So obviously, you guys, you know, your videos are played on Much Music constantly every time I turn on the channel. So that must be cool for you guys. Your songs are on the radio, and obviously, your fan base, very supportive fans. So you know, it's pretty cool. So what do you think has been like the biggest adjustment? that's come along with this success? Uh, the biggest adjustment, I guess, is just not seeing our friends and our girlfriends and, mm -hmm. and our family and stuff like that, and my poodles. Your so. poodles. Yeah. But they're not really yours, they're your mom's. They're my mom's, yeah. But, yeah. But, but I take care of them. Do you have a girlfriend as well, Johnny? Yes, I do. So how do you guys deal with the long distance, obviously, being on tour all the time? And big, big, big phone bills. That sucks. You know, you know just big phone bills, but it's texting hard. Texting a lot? A lot of texting. Yeah? Do they ever come on the road and hang out with you boys? No, not really. No? Not. Is, that, is that a rule? Like, no girlfriends on the bus? No, it's just we're so busy and distracted, and mm -hmm. they get angry because we're not paying attention. And, uh, Do they really get angry? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's understandable. I mean, they come out, you know, they leave their home behind, and yeah. we're running around doing stuff. Are you romantic, though? You're very. Really? Yeah. What's the romantic, most romantic thing you've ever done? Most romantic thing I've... Oh, man. Why'd I say that? I well, you have of, to tell. I gotta think of that. She's probably watching, too. What's her name? She probably... Uh, her name's Erin. Hi, Erin. Hi, Erin. Hi. And, uh... Most romantic. Come on. I broke into her house and made her dinner. Okay. It's not that... Very there creepy. There you go. Kind of creepy. stalkerish and creepy, but sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Johnny, you? <laughs> uh, I drove... I, I took a bus to go spend one night with her. Kind of surprised her, I guess. Hi, Danielle, by the very, way. Very, hi, Danielle, hi, Aaron. They're very sweet. Aren't you guys impressed? They play good music. Aww. And they're sweet.